compute the indefinite integral of e to the x times the secant of e to the x dx. So let's begin by prepping this function. Uh, we're going to have the integral of e to the x times the secant of e to the x. We're just going to include those parentheses that should be there. Notice that this is a product. There's no chance to expand it, so we're going to try a substitution. The only thing in parentheses is e to the x, so let's give that a shot. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we can multiply both sides of this by dx and come up with the differential du is equal to e to the x dx. And this is what we need to fit. And notice it's bookended on either side of the integral, so we can cross these two terms off and replace them with just du. The e to the x term can be replaced with a u. Oops, sorry about that, just a u. There we go. And this is the secant of u. And then we're integrating that. So our integral is simply the integral of secant of u du. It's one of the few times we don't have a constant we need to take care of. The antiderivative of secant is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the sum of secant and tangent. So let's write that down here. And now all we need to do is back substitute. So we're going to have the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the secant of e to the x plus the tangent of e to the x. That's one antiderivative, and there's all of our antiderivatives. And so there we're done.